and position isomerism. So these are the three types of structural isomerism. So let's take, so to explain chain isomerism, let's take an alkane with the formula C4H10. So we know that there is an alkane which has four carbon atoms and ten hydrogen atoms. Now we can have an alkane which is this. So you can see one, two, three, four. This is basically CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. This is butane. This is called butane. You because but because it's it has four carbon atoms and in because it's an alkane and let me write butane over here then we call or we can have now in this case we have one two and three we have three carbon atoms in the main chain and we have four uh, the, the fourth carbon atom is is in the form of a methyl group this is basically ch3 ch CH3 CH3 this is called this is called 2 methyl propane now if you count the number of carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms in both of these compounds you will get the same number 4 carbon atoms 10 hydrogen atoms so the, these are called chain isomers because you've changed the type of chain from straight chain you've changed it to a branch chain so they are called chain isomers so this becomes 2 methyl propane because there is a methyl group on the second carbon atom so 2 methyl and there are 3 carbon atoms in the main chain so prop and it's an alkane so in so 2 methyl propane so these two are isomers they are isomers because they have the same molecular formula but different structural formula you can see that here now when you talk about functional group isomerism let me erase all of this Functional group isomerism is basically um, when there are two different functional groups, two different uh, two molecules with different function groups, but they have the same formula. So, for example, let's take let's take the the compound C two H six O two. So we have taken an organic compound C two H six O two. Now. Uh, actually not C2H6O2 it will be C4H C4H C2H4O2 so the we have a compound C2H4O2 now we can we can actually make a carboxylic acid you can see from here one two so you uh, so you can see two carbon atoms and then this is a carboxylic acid because COOH remember the functional group so let me write the structural formula yeah so this is ethanoic acid or you can have just a second I've actually made a mistake there have I or have I So I can have this. Now you can see that this is a carbon atom double bonded to an oxygen atom and single bonded to an oxygen atom which is bonded to a CH3 group and this carbon atom is also bonded to an H group. So this is uh, an ester. You can see the COO group over here. This is an ester. So you can and if you count the number of carbons, hydrogens and oxygen in both these molecules, if you count the number uh, uh, let me write the structural formula for this HCO2 CH3 this is the structural formula now if you count the number of uh, of carbon hydrogen oxygen atoms in both of them you can you will get the same number C2H4O2 so they are isomers because they have the same molecular formula but different structural uh, formula and they are and specifically they are functional group isomers because this this molecule has the carboxylic acid functional group whereas this molecule has the ester functional group so these are called functional group isomers so actually aldehydes and ketones are functional group isomers and when we do the carbonyl compounds playlist you will get to see why they are functional group isomers
Now, position isomerism. So, let's 